Hi, my name is Cecile Kazachkin. I'm a senior policy analyst at the Canadian HIV AIDS Legal Network. Uh, welcome to this webinar on criminalization. This webinar was created specifically for people living with HIV to help them understand the implication of the criminalization of HIV non-disclosure. Before we get started, I just wanted to say a few words about the Canadian HIV AIDS Legal Network. We are a non-profit organization that promotes the rights of people living with HIV and those who are vulnerable to HIV in Canada and internationally. We do this through research, legal and policy analysis, education and community mobilization. One of the issues we've been working on for more than 15 years now is the chromization of HIV non-disclosure, and this is what we are going to talk about today. Since the 2012 decision of the Supreme Court of Canada in uh, Maybio and DC, uh, prosecution against people living with HIV have continued in Canada, and some cases uh, that we've seen uh, since then have, con have confirmed our concern regarding the overly broad use of the criminal law. And I'm just going to mention one case, um, the case of a woman that was charged in Barrie, um, and her trial took place in summer 2013. And I think that case is very illustrative of all our concern and the injustice that can um, result from the current state of the criminal law. This woman was uh, charged uh, with non-disclosure uh, before unprotected sex, even if her viral load was undetectable. She was also charged with uh, receiving oral sex, um, even if we know that the risk of transmission are extremely low. It's um, important to remember that in this case, even the Crown expert actually say that the risk associated with oral sex are extremely low. AIDS activists actually mobilized and went uh, to demonstrate in front of the courthouse to ask the Crown to withdraw the charges against this woman, uh, saying that oral sex should not be a crime. But the Crown actually maintained the charges and refused to, to drop them. Thankfully, um, based on the medical evidence before it, the court finally decided to acquit this woman on the charges of oral sex, but still she was convicted based on the Supreme Court decision in Mavio and DC for having sex without a condom, even if she had an undetectable viral load, and we know that the risk of transmission were extremely reduced. 